Hello everyone, Jen here. Welcome back to another Sims 4 video. This one is a speed build again. We are continuing work on the Party House Factory Apartments. Uh, if you have Get Together, there is this build called Factory 1, I think it is. And the family, which is just a group of four sims that are not really friends, they're kind of just acquaintances when you start up the game, uh, all live together in this factory. I thought, in honor of Lovestruck, and because this is such a massive build, and because we now have our own apartments when get together came out we did not have the ability to make our own apartments uh and now we have that i thought what better time to turn this old factory into five apartments four relatively small-ish kind of apartments and then one huge like almost penthouse type apartment um under the roof at the top of the building I love the building itself I think it's a really cool build and I don't think I would have ever come up with anything like that on my own so I wanted to keep the build itself in my save file but I wanted it to be an apartment building. I thought it was perfect for an apartment building. And I thought these four sims were perfect for having in each their own separate apartments, if that makes sense. So uh, that's what I'm doing. I did the main part of the build where I just kind of edited... The outside a little bit and then I fixed the roof so that it could have a third floor underneath of it and um, the roof wouldn't be in your way while you're playing. Fixed almost all of the flooring and ceilings. The only places I didn't fix is where you see those uh, fake pillars that are made out of walls and then they have the empty spaces inside. You can see it up in the top corner right here on this screen. I didn't bother fixing the ceilings over those pieces because your sims can't even access those areas anyways. And they're just there for looks. So I didn't bother. But I did fix the floors and ceilings pretty much everywhere else there might be a couple of spots that are a little odd yet and if you go to click on them they it it like cuts the room in half so one big open room it is the game thinks it's two separate rooms but for the most part i got it fixed also i went back and added a few things which you'll see in the next video uh between <laughs> doing the first two apartments on the first floor and doing the second two apartments on the second floor i actually got early access to lovestruck and so i did the second two apartments and then came back and added a few more things into the first two apartments uh, not much but just a little bit here and there uh, just to incorporate the other packs also I realized that I put the sprinklers down in the utility room at some point when I was doing the upper two on the second floor apartments and I do go back and remove the smoke detectors because I'm not sure would that mess up your game if you had both the um, sprinkler system and the smoke detectors. I think that would confuse the game a little bit. Not sure what kind of glitches that would be unleashed there, but we don't want to tempt fate here. So <laughs> I took the smoke detectors out, but there is a sprinkler system down in the utility room. You can see that utility room in uh, the first video, which is something else that I did. I gave each sim their own little locker unit in a basement uh, area that I made 
uh, for storage, for extra storage. And then I made a laundry room and a utility room. I thought that those, the utility room is for, for rent stuff, but the laundry room I thought would be kind of a cute addition for single sims, you know, they're hanging out in the laundry room doing their laundry late at night and, you know, they're chatting and they find out they've got something in common. I don't know. I still haven't decided about the, um, big, big, big apartment on the third floor yet. I'm actually kind of leaning now more towards, uh, renumbering the apartment. So it's going to be a little bit weird because apartment number one will actually be at the very top of the building, um, on the third floor, but it'll be the property owner's apartment and putting a property owner and their family in that apartment to own the whole building. Uh, I considered doing that. Each of these apartments are, uh, two bedrooms each, but the first floor apartments, both bedrooms are like three by four, or is it three by five? It might be three by five. The second floor, which I completely forgot about this until I actually decorated the second floor, one bedroom at the front of the lot is three by, looks like it might be five, three by five. So the front bedrooms on the second floor apartments are the same, but the back bedrooms are actually slightly bigger and the kitchens are also slightly bigger. I'm not a hundred percent sure how that worked out that way, how we got that much extra space on the second floor versus the first floor, but there you have it. So these aren't just single sim apartments. They can be a single sim and a roommate if you want to use uh, twin beds or not twin, single beds. It would probably work better. I did shove double beds in all of these apartments for the sims in honor of love struck. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that it works. If it doesn't, you can just take the double beds out and put single beds in there. I know on the second floor apartments, it will absolutely work. You'll have to wait for the next video to see that. But trust me, the rooms are big enough for it. It's this right here where it might give you some trouble because it's... It, there's literally no room around the bed. It's, it's got walls on three sides of it. So I don't know how that's going to work. If your Sims are smarter than mine, it's going to work just fine because they can scoot across the bed. My Sims have problems with everything. So it doesn't work as well for me. I did also remember to go back in the next video not this one, but the one after this video, and add hampers to every single apartment as well so that your sims aren't just leaving dirty laundry everywhere. So there's also that. I don't think I add them in this video though. Uh, but yeah, I tried to go through and um, I tried to make sure not to forget anything. Every build that I'm doing for the save file, I go back through and make sure if there's anything I forget, I add it in. So yeah, I did remember, um, what are they called? Thermostats in this one? For the video this time, in my last Crick Cabana turned a tiny home, I forgot the thermostat and had to go back in later after the video had already been uploaded to my channel to add the thermostat in there. So also I did a live stream this week for the first time in weeks and I plan on trying to do them somewhat more regularly. The unfortunate thing was I had a lot of lag and I had 
a lot of dropped frames, which meant that the stream buffered a lot. And the reason for that is because this desktop computer that I have, I did not even, like, I talked to the people about video cards and um, all that kind of stuff, but it never occurred to me to talk to them about the Wi-Fi card. Didn't even cross my mind. I assumed that if my laptop can get decent internet back here and live stream to Twitch just fine, then this giant desktop computer should be able to do it just fine too. Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> But I'm going to try to start live streaming again more regularly. So I'm going to try to go back to every Tuesday and Thursday. And I'm going to aim for 1 o'clock to 3 o'clock. I don't remember when I was doing it before. Was it like 3 to 5 or something like that? I would do that. Except my daughter is going to be starting back up at school again. And... Up until now, from the time I started live streaming in late 2019 until now, my daughter has mostly been out of school because of the pandemic and because of health issues and stuff. So that 3 to 5 period was open for me to live stream. But now that she's going back to school, I won't be able to do the 3 o'clock to five o'clock p.m. live stream anymore. I could potentially hold off and live stream at 7 p.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but usually by that time of night I'm pretty tired and I don't have a lot of energy, so I prefer to stream earlier in the day than later when I have more energy, but I don't know. You let me know down in the comments what your preferred time to watch live streams are. Um, there was something else I was going to say, but I don't remember what it was now. We only have two minutes left, and again, like in the last one, I am not doing the walkthrough at the end of this video. I'll do the whole apartment building walkthrough um, at the end end of this little mini series. So the first apartment that I decorated was for Marcus Flex, and he is he's a friendly sim, but he's uncommittal, so he doesn't care about romance, and he's kind of athletic. And this second apartment I did, I forget her name. Is it Jade? No, that's the other one. This one is Rosa, right? The, oh, which one is which? I can't remember now. I can see them in my head, but I can't remember whose name was who. Uh, but anyways, she's a romance sim. And I thought it would be fun to decorate her house in more uh, bold, romantic colors. So, or her apartment, I mean, in more bold, romantic colors. I did go through and edit The Sims ever so slightly, get them all jobs and everything. But when I do, like, a progress on how the save file is going video later on, uh, we can talk about each of the townies and how I updated them, gave them all jobs and everything with each of the new expansion packs coming out, how I changed them. But anyways, that is the end of this speed build for now. So if you enjoyed this video, if you're enjoying my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!